Hello and welcome my cheeseburger casseroles. How you doing today? It's Chris here and today we're talking about Oban Greenfoot the Forest Guardian. We're gonna do a full review for this hero because he is weird. He doesn't make sense. He's confusing in a lot of ways. His abilities are really goofy. I want to make sure you guys understand how to use Oban Greenfoot to the best of his ability to make sure that you can actually succeed if you're gonna decide to use this guy. So starting off, man, um, he looks cool. I actually really like the look of him. Um, his, his abilities are pretty solid. Uh, he's sort of a mixture of an attack slash support slash does things hero. He's kind of all around. He's all around the place, man, because he can gain. He can actually get you extra money. It pops a lot of balloons, and like I said, he supports you by slowing down balloons, uh, which allows your other towers to do a better job. So he's goofy, man. As far as price goes. Uh, 600 bucks, so by far the cheapest hero, man. By far, he's less than $100 cheaper than Quincy and $300 cheaper than Gwendolyn. So obviously, he's a really cheap hero over here. The nice thing about that is that you can start with, off with him on round one. On easy, medium, and on hard, well, on hard, you get round three. But you get to start off with him right from the get-go here, and that can be a huge advantage because you're already gaining experience, man. You're going to be getting tons of experience starting off with him on level one. Instead of having to wait until around, what, 10, 12, even 14 if you're going crazy with the other extra towers. So, let's pop into a game over here and show him off just a little bit. We're doing we're going to do it very similarly to uh, uh, the way we normally do this. We're going to kind of send out a couple balloons against him and see what he does and see how his attack works. So when we place him down, we get to look at his uh, range right here. It's not that good. It's actually kind of on the low end. It's a little bit longer than Gwendolyn's, but not much more than that. Um, definitely shorter than Quincy and definitely shorter than Artillery Jones. Or Striker Jones, excuse me. So, uh, as a 0 0 tower, if we send out 20 balloons, let's see what he can do, man. Very similar to both Gwendolyn and Quincy, with a slightly slower attack speed over here. He pops three balloons per shot. Now, also, once we get to a little bit lower balloons, you're going to see that his, his attack will actually go through the balloons and sort of heat seek to the next balloon, or balloon seek to the next balloon over here. Actually, does he do four balloons per shot? Where from the get go? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yeah, he does do four balloons per shot right there, guys. Never mind, I lied, man. It's not three. Now, one thing that I should note here is that he cannot pop camo balloons or purple balloons the entire game. The only thing that can pop those purple balloons is his ability. But if I just show you guys with just a big chunk of purples, he's a magic tower, so the magic does not affect the purple balloons here. On top of that, if you just have... Um, uh, you know, you yellow camos over here, boom, you cannot pop them. So definitely two huge weaknesses to your hero here. You're going to have to make sure that you have something else that can pop those types of balloons. All right, let's get to the upgrades. I'm so he's uh, commanding the powers of nature. Open can shoot through solid obstacles with his spirit wolf attack. So you guys have seen the spirit wolf attack already. It's just, just regular attack, and it kind of guides through to the next balloon. And basically, he is... It's pretty powerful, but it's it's not like unbelievably powerful. It's just sort of an average type of attack here. So let's let's level them up a little bit. Nature's Wrath, all magic monkeys in range get plus one pierce. So again, we're supporting the other towers already. Just on level two, if you've got some magic monkeys over here, man, not just uh, the wizard, but all of these guys are technically considered magic monkeys. So you can get all of these guys to get extra pierce. If you have open green foot, so if you like super monkeys, man, <gasps> this might be extremely powerful for you. On top of the fact that, uh, you know, combining him with like a druid is going to be extremely, extremely effective. So if you have a druid that, uh, you know, normally only has one balloon per, one pop per shot, but now you're getting, you know, thorn swarm, and now you're doubling it to, you know, eight. Basically, with that, like, only $600 right there, you can pop 16 balloons per shot just by having them in the range of this guy right here. It gets pretty crazy, man. So, combining these guys and making him, uh, you know, work together with other heroes, with other towers, can be extremely, extremely effective. Uh, Brambles. All right, this ability, man. I actually hate it. I think it sucks, but I'll, I'll show you guys what it is really quick. Um, if you uh, send out some blue... It can pop camo balloons, by the way. But if you just see how many balloons it actually pops, it's, like, it's it's terrible. It's like, what? Really? Like, Brambles, like, you're, an ability pops that few blues right there? It's it's pretty bad, guys. Like, even if he, pop, he pops it on top of things, it's just like, <laughs> it's like, what was that? It's terrible. On top of that, it does end up disappearing over time. So if you do end up popping down, like, you're like, oh, man, I can just 
pop down 500 of these guys in the back and just have this really awesome spike factory like defense in the back it doesn't work that way they will disappear over time so it doesn't end up being all that strong what? sort of a bad ability to be honest um, leveling up eight uh we make a totem so we got a bunch of different stuff starting off man we're supporting things we're getting more damage we're getting some uh a, a bramble ability and now we're making a totem that pops up every 18 seconds now i should mention that this totem even though it pops up only every 18 seconds lasts about 15 seconds so the downtime on a totem is only like three seconds or so and it's gonna be less later on in fact later on we're gonna be able to pop multiple totems on the screen at once um the nice thing about the totem here is if you look at it, you can actually see the range over here of what kind of range we're going to do. And the totem, what it does is it slows the balloons down by 15% to start. Eventually, it's going to be 25 and 35% slowdown. So it depends where you put it, and where he puts it is sort of random. I believe it's completely I'm random, waiting. I think. But he tends to put it a little bit closer to him than... Uh, than far away from him. I'm not sure if that's something that I have just noticed or if it's actually the truth. But it seems to pop itself close to him more often than somewhere random. Alright, moving on, man. We're only on level 5 over here. Alright, and then we finally get up to Open Greenfoot's nice little level over here. Increased attack speed. So now, when we see some blues coming out over here, man, let's send out 40 blues now and see what he does. We're also going to prop the, prop the Bramble down. So you can see the slowdown aura happening over here. It doesn't really show all that well with the blue balloons, but it does actually affect these blue balloons and slow them down. See, again, the Bramble was just garbage, just did like nothing. But Open Greenfoot, not too bad, not too shabby. Actually popping through a lot of those balloons right there. Uh, moving on, um, let's level them up a little bit more. So increased popping power. Brambles can pop 30 balloons. Oh, man, only crappy 30 balloons right there. Nature's War Term slows balloons by 25%, so already we're slowing by 25%. Again, supporting your other towers that are going to be on the screen. Um, acts, uh, attacks one extra layer, and then Wall of Trees. Now, this is a confusing confusing ability, and I apologize if I get anything wrong about this ability, but I'm going to do my best to try and explain this ability for you guys so you can understand it. So, what happens is, is when you pop down a wall of trees, here, let's just read it really quick, summons a wall of trees across the track that destroy all balloons that enter. When full, the tree bursts into money. So you can get money out of this guy. Really? How much money are we talking here? A couple hundred bucks? Couple, I mean, uh, you're talking about thousands of dollars here, guys. If you do it perfectly, you should get $6,000 at its current level, and once you get up to level 20, you can get up to $10,000, if all goes according to plan. So let's pop these wall trees down and kind of just talk about how it works. So if I just sent out a bunch of like red balloons and stuff like that, um, he's not going to be able to pop all of them. But you're going to notice that it's just going to take a really, really long time. But even if I do some blues in here and some greens in here and some yellows in here, let's see how much uh, balloons are actually going to get slurped up by this thing. Now, you can't click on it to see how many balloons are getting slurped up or anything like that, but look at this, man. He's slurping up all these balloons. This is a lot of balloons, by the way. This is not just no chump change amount of balloons right here. I think I should honestly try and count. Maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe count with pink balloons, because that, that would be an easy hundred right here. One, two. So I'll do this for the next one. But for right now, I'm just going to send out a crap ton of balloons so we can finally get it completely flushed with balloons right here. Come on, little buddy. Come on, little forest. <laughs> Slurp those blues, then what do we get out of this thing? 600 bucks, 600 bucks, holy crap. And there's 10 bananas here, man. So we're talking about $6,000 right here. Woo! I'm honestly not sure, but I'm guessing it's probably 6,000 balloons, to be completely honest. I'm just guessing that, but I'm not sure. Sadly, it does not affect Moab class balloons, so you can't just like slurp up a BFB or something like that. You know, that kind of sucks. You can test it out really quick if you want, but it's not going to slurp up those blues. What I am going to do is I'm going to try and send out... I'm going to send out 6,000 pinks. So let's do this. Send out, uh, we'll make it 100 pinks. It's 500 balloons. 500 balloons. 5, 1,000. 2,000. 3,000. 4,000. 5. Oh, and then it pops. So it was not 6,000 balloons. Actually, a lot less than that. Seems like it's, it's just, it's weird. It, we only got $426 out of this thing. So it's just, it's weird. If you don't if you don't have the blues get slurped up fast enough, you don't seem to get all the money out of it. It's, just, it's really goofy. There you go. If we get the money, really, or if we get the, it popped really, really quickly, we get the $600 out of it. It almost makes no sense to me. You know what I mean? I should probably have done the purple blues in the first place because he can't pop the purple blues. But anyways, it is a confusing, confusing upgrade. I don't understand how many blues it sucks up yet. It doesn't seem to make very much sense to me. And then the money that it gives out, it seems like it sort of makes sense. The less balloons you get, the less money you get. Um, if you end up deciding to use the ability before... So if I pop this down... 
and I don't suck up very many balloons because my other towers are popping all of the, the balloons before it gets to my trees. Basically, he's going to give you, um, and then I use the ability again, the trees are going to disappear into bananas, and you get whatever money you sucked up in balloons. So again, confusing as crap. I'm trying to do my best to explain it. Hopefully I did a good job. If I didn't, I'm sorry. Let's start leveling this guy up a little bit more. Increase attack range, increase attack speed, increase popping power. Ooh, pops an extra layer. And then the nature reward slows down by 35%. Sweet. All right, so um, at this point, we're going to see what kind of balloon popping power we can do. Let's send out a couple zebras really quick. You can see uh, he does a decent amount of popping power, but he's still kind of low. But at this point, we can pop through multiple layers. So we act sort of like a sniper, where you can pop zebras down to yellows. And then you can pop those yellows down to reds, and then of course you can clean those guys up. So if you put him sort of close to the front, he might be a little bit better uh, at popping these balloons, just by popping the strong layers and letting your other towers and your cannons and stuff sort of clean up the rest. He may not be all that efficient at popping uh, the lower tier balloons, basically, which is really fun, really interesting. Just adds to the strategy aspect of this hero right here. Yeah. Leveling up a little bit more, Bramble still sucks balls, even at 100 balloons each, so we're just going to get rid of that thing. Increases attack speed. Improved Wrath. All Druid's Wrath pops pops start at start each round at 200. It's very difficult to say. So as far as I understand it, if you guys don't know, the Druids are uh, an interesting tower. Because if you get this guy up to Heart of Vengeance, Druid Wrath, and then Pop Lust over here, basically the longer the balloons come out, the stronger he's going to get, or the faster he's going to shoot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send out like a crap ton of pinks over here, and you're going to watch this guy's speed. Now, I'm not speeding this up or slowing this down anymore, but watch the Poplus monkey go to town. So he's starting off sort of slow. He's still kind of slow. As he gets, uh, you can see the speed starting to increase a little bit over here. As the balloons are coming out, he's going to keep on getting faster and faster. And you can see, oh crap, now he's getting angry. He's like, oh my god, pop the balloons, pop the balloons. So he's still, it's not super duper fast, but you can definitely see the increase in speed with this guy. It's probably about three times as fast as, three times as fast or so. Speeding this up just to get rid of these guys. But you can see it's pretty reasonably fast. Of course, you got some other ways to you can speed it up and everything, but it's just kind of fun to note. And again, this guy works really well with the druids, because the druids make sense. They're they're nature monkeys, you know? So if you combine these guys together, they should be good together. They should be a good combo tower right here. Yeah. So moving on, um, level 19 adds an extra layer, and then wall of trees can hold a lot more balloons. So I had to test this guy out one last time. We're going to send out a crap ton of purple balloons right here. And we're just going to let this thing slurp up. And what we should get is $10,000 out of this thing. So we get $1,000 for every banana, 10 bananas, and we get $10,000, baby! Now, if I miscounted that and there's only 8 bananas or something like that, or 9 bananas, please forgive me. But I'm pretty sure it's $10,000. Wonderful. So that's pretty much it for Open Greenfoot, guys. He is uh, an in-between attack, support, weirdo, magic, propositing tower over here. Uh, it's, it's, an, it's an interesting tower. Um, I can't say that he's fantastic. I can't say that he's bad. If you use him properly, he's going to be a great addition to your team to help you complete a lot of these more difficult levels. But, at the same time, starting off with him can be a little bit difficult. You're going to have to use a lot of other towers that are going to support him in the early game, getting him strong enough to actually be powerful enough to help you guys, to help you basically out in your game. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you press that like button for me, subscribe if you haven't, and of course, have a super duper delicious day.